Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is something I promised a long time ago <laughs> and I never made it. Um, I'm finally making it because I just remembered while I was looking at my modding folder. APK Easy Tool is deprecated. Uh, it's no longer being maintained. The creator of this tool is no longer working on it or making it or whatever you want to call it. No longer developing the tool. I want to go through and figure out what the next best tool to use is. And today's video is not APK Easy Tool, but APK Toolkit 1.2. I discovered this tool somewhat recently. Okay, it just moves it to there. Got it. This tool is also open source. It works very similarly to APK Easy Tool, and it's even organized very similarly. So APK Easy Tool's install directory kind of looks like this with decompiled, recompiled, extracted, zipped, back smally and smally, and all this stuff. APK uh, Toolkit, very, very, very similar. So, first of all, where do I get it? APK Toolkit, XDA. There it is. APK Toolkit right on XDA. It's right here. It even has different themes, which is some stuff that I love in software, is when you have different themes and you can make it look the way you want it to and all that crap. You know, light and dark. I love dark mode. Dark mode's my favorite thing ever. Um, I do admit that light mode does look better in some cases. So if I, like, close it and reopen it. There you go. We're in light mode, and I'll use that for the... Ooh, I shouldn't be showing that. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Let's find a different game before I get myself in trouble. Uh, <laughs> let's use drag racing. I don't have an APK for that. Let's use Jurassic World. <laughs> I don't have an APK there. I'll... Oh, it's asking me to pick a folder. Uh, okay. Does it auto de- God damn it. I clicked the wrong button. So this one to select the APK, this one to select directory. So I want APK. Uh, why is it? What the hell? It's right there. Select APK or jar. Oh. Weird. Anyway, there we go. So now I have an APK selected. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my mind during the sinus infection. Anyway, this tool, very similar to APK Easy Tool. It gives you a lot of abilities, though, that APK Easy Tool didn't have. This one can decompile, compile, extract, and zip XAPK APKs in jars. You can zip align and check the alignment. It can check the alignment of XAPK and APK. It'll sign and verify signature. It'll assemble, de uh, disassemble uh, DEX, ODEX, and OAT to back Smalley and Smalley. It'll convert XAPK and split APK into a single APK. Um, it'll drag and drop support for single or multiple files. You can pin windows to the top. You can jump list and toolbar shortcuts. View and remove app permissions. You can view app info, including app includes native 32 or 64 bit for IL to CPP. It has IL to CPP dumper and DN spy built right in. Um, it'll install the APK via ADB or drag and drop the APK to install. It'll automate adding a mod menu to your game. It'll automate adding patched libraries to your game. It'll automate adding toast messages and it'll decode or rebuild to an API level. Um, yeah, it does a lot. So, anyway, as you can see, like, here's the permissions it's showing off and all that stuff. So, here we are with Jurassic World, the game. This game is pretty cool. It's, uh, Pokemon Go with dinosaurs. You can actually just click these different buttons to take you to different, uh, places. I don't know why it's not detecting the metadata and stuff. I know it's a... Oh, it's not an IL to CPP game. I picked the wrong game. I wanted to use a Unity game for this. We're going with the tried and true racing rivals for a tutorial because I know this game best. As far as this, 
So here's your main activity. Here's the package name, the app name, version, minimum SDK, build number, SDK target, and signature. Uh, as you can see, it uh, auto detects the uh, different things for um, the global metadata and stuff. If it's Unity, for example, you can just go in here, you can decompile the app, you can decompile a mod menu, you can delete the ARM v7a, you can delete the ARM v8a, which a lot of people used to do. You can merge a mod menu, merge uh, this mod menu this way. You can copy any libraries you custom make. You can add a toast, which is right here. You can compile the app and add the toast message. Here's your IL to CPP dumper, your DN spy stuff. All there. And then here's your back smolly, your settings, your about. And then even your stuff up here, there's your dumps and the folders to open things up. You can even look at permissions that the game has right down in here. You can go into tools and reset settings. There's not much to do up here. But we want to, for example, Unity 3D. We're going to uh, decompile it. Uh, wait, what is this pointing at? Oh, this is not right. Oh, so I'll explain all this in a minute. So first of all, what we're going to do is just start. I don't know why it dinged. So we're going to go your, to the dumps folder. It's not there. Got to decompile it first, I believe. We're going to decompile. Which goes to here. Here's your Racing Rivals folder. It'll tell you down in here. Or it'll... It explains somewhere. Oh, does it not give you a little data log on what it's doing? That's a little silly. Anyway, it's decompiling the app real quick. And in a moment, we will have all the files and stuff here. It's making the Smalley folders and all that. Decompiling the... APK, here's your assets, your bin, data, extracting all this stuff, doing what your general tool does. I forgot Racing Rivals had an x86 folder. It's amazing that they never actually put it out for PC. Well, they did, but you know what I mean. So anyway, that's the one thing you really want to delete is the xAPK folder. Now we can go to Unity. The app is selected. We don't have a mod menu. We want to dump IL to CPP. Now this takes you to the dump folder. And you can see here's our V7A. All of our stuff is here. Your dummy DLLs, the uh, .h, the CS, the scripts, all the strings. Everything is here. And then once you modify this, you simply come in here and you select your V7A libraries. You go to your tools, you go to your PK toolkit, dumps. This is your modified one. Um, this will open the dump for you in Visual Studio, which is really cool. Or uh, Notepad++, depending on how your computer is set up. Personally, I don't mod this way anymore, but it is useful. You can also use DNSpy, which is here. Built right in. And there you, we go. It's all here. Right down here. So, opens right up in DNSpy, no problem. Now... I want to maybe compile it. I want to copy and replace this and then compile the app and add a toast. So now I can click start because this is basically the settings after the fact. So you want to, I don't know how merging a mod menu. You have to make the mod menu yourself. Okay, so it injects your custom mod menu for you. Very useful. Go to start. I wish it, why doesn't it give you a log? That's the only thing that's a little bit strange here, is it doesn't give you a log and tell you what's going on. Uh, 
Uh, compiled. No. Decompiled. Yes. I don't understand why it doesn't give me a log. So many different things you can do. You can even make your own keys, your zips. You can do add removals as well. It has patches basically in here for removing ads and patching them out. Very nice. And from here you can just compile. And now it makes your APK for you. which will be in here when it's done. Let's see, compiled, decompiled. Unknown, ooh, the world of the unknown. Takes a long time to uh, compile the app, but you know, that's expected. Convert XAPK to APK. I want to definitely try that. I haven't tried it yet. That could work well on games like Car X Street. Or, uh... There's a couple games I can think of that that would work really well on. A lot of stuff from APK Pure comes as XAPK, and I really hate it. Compiled. It still hasn't put it there. Okay, where is it? are waiting for you. Oh, all the stuff it comes with. Pretty cool. I'd like to know how that works. Convert XAPK to APK. I don't really get it. There it is, AP, uh, Racing Rivals. So it's putting it all together now. It needs a, a log somewhere, and I don't see one. Maybe I screwed something up somewhere along the way, but I don't see a log. There's the APK, so it's making it. I wish these tools had, the only thing I wish that was built into this was the signature killer that Lucky Patcher has. I've yet to find a com uh, program for computer um, where you can mod the APK and remove the signature entirely. But, you know, it happens. So we're gonna open it up. And as you can see, there's custom stuff. It's all really nice. I like how it works. Um, it's a good tool for getting started. I still think I would do things manually. Just open it up in 7-zip, extract the files I need, put them back. I would still do things manually, but this is a good currently in development option especially because of like the XAPK button and things like that. You can sign it here, you can verify and install it. I wish you could change the icon. You can open up the main activity Smalley and open that up in uh, Notepad++ or something right from a button. You can open up these things, the Android manifest right here and just see it. It's a good tool. It's a good replacement for our APK Easy tool, and I hope the development of this tool continues. Uh, I'll make a video on one of the other tools as I download them, because I'm going to try them all out now that X, uh, a, a, APK Easy tool is kind of deprecated. But who knows? I also wish you could modify the app names and install package. Uh, info so you could like have double install but that's for another day i'll talk to you guys later peace out